going to show you today are um, combinations or blends of topical anesthetics. Some people even see their cocktails. I have Ultra Duration, that'll take two drops. I have Numb Fast Green Cream, 2% um, Tetracaine. And I have Microcaine, 5% Lidocaine. We have Tag 45 Gel, that's 4% Lidocaine with a little epinephrine. Numb Quick Pink it comes in a pore spout. Be sure to shake the bottle before you do it. Numb Pot Ointment is one of my favorite topicals. I use it to clean the skin um, because it's very soothing. I have used it alone before eyeliner. Again, 5% lidocaine and um, for 15 to 20 minutes. So, let's start with eyeliner. I'm going to take the microcane and I'm going to put oh about this much in the container. Now I'm going to add some NumFast. Sort of looks like a little whipping cream. I'm going to stir this up just a little bit before I add a drop or two of Ultra Duration. Now I can also say that you could add a drop or two of Tag Gel. Always set your timer because time can fly and you don't want to exceed the time that the topical an anesthetic wor is working. There's what's called an onset and that's how long it takes the topical anesthetic to work. Then there's the duration, which is how long you can expect the topical to work. And then, of course, if, if it's beyond the duration time, the anesthetic stops working. So we've made a cocktail. And now I'm going to apply it with a spatula. I've found that using a Q-tip is just a little bit too smeary. So I've gotten the hang of doing it with a spatula. Now Jamie is my assistant and she says she always applies it to the bottom eyelid first. So just have them look up, look up. And I just apply it here, along here. And then I sort of come up into the eyelashes like that. Don't fool around in the eyelashes. Their eyes will start watering. Just go ahead and apply it below the eyelashes in a line and then bring it up into the eyelashes. If you just get their eye watering and stuff, then it's going to dilute the topical anesthetic and it could even wash it into the eye. Now the important thing is Start at about the eyelid crease. Most people fool around down in the lashes. Start up high and blend and just down into the lashes. You may want to go just a little bit higher when you're doing eyeshadow, okay? Make sure all the areas are covered nicely. Make sure it's applied where it needs to be applied. Now, set your timer for 20 minutes. That's the ring. As I said, you can buy these anywhere, Bed Bath & Beyond. Go past your time and come back to 20 minutes. The time is up, so now I'm going to take uh, two things. I like to use a Q-tip to get off some of the some of the topical. I also use a cotton round. I'm going to take off the topical from the brow at the same time. That's no problem. We do put on a good amount, but it's uh, the eyelashes actually interlock with each other to prevent. Um, to prevent anything from entering the eye, but if it does enter the eye, we do use eye wash. Are you having any stinging? Okay, no. she's not having any stinging, but I'll show you. Just to take off the tip 
you can order these. Um, the eye wash, of course, is sterile, and just put in two drops and uh, make sure the eye is clean. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Little steam, okay. Two drops. Okay. Stay ahead of the pain. If you do, then the patient's blood um, pressure and heart rate stay relatively within normal limits and you'll have less bleeding, less swelling. If a patient or client is having pain, stop, slow down, apply the topical anesthetics and wait, I wait two, maybe three minutes and then I proceed. So I work from one side, make my quick pass and some color with five slope needles and before going to the other side and then I'll go back and finish side one and come back to side two and alternate. So while I'm working on side two, side one is getting numbed again to maintain pain control and vice versa. When they're all done, what I do to cool them down their eyelids is I take two wet cotton swabs these are wet. I put on two frozen gel packs, one on each eye, and you can either use a headband or you can use just barrier tape. And set your timer again to let them cool down on their eyes for 10 minutes. Some people recommend that you wet your cotton in which hazel the same thing they use for hemorrhoids so instead of ice water you can wet them in in witch hazel take the witch hazel and put it in a container that will also hold a lot of cotton rounds okay and then just keep them there and when you're all done they act like tux pads and it really decreases swelling we send all of our clients home with an aftercare product called Heal Quick or Retain. So don't ever send your clients home empty-handed. For lips, send them home with Lipertech.